G'day guys, welcome back to Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate. Man, oh man, it's been a crazy time. I the, the more I do this, the more I look into the news, the events, the players, the cuts, the trades, the signings, the the, the practice report. The more I do this, the more I, I follow the team. It seems like the crazier it gets, right? The crazier it gets. And I want to show you guys something. So we have like an update on DeMonte Carzi. And I'll be honest, guys, sometimes when these players get injured, it's, it's kind of hard to find out how long they're going to be out for because even during the offseason, you don't normally get the injury report or the, the, the you know, the post-game injury report or, or Mike Tomlin, it doesn't really say too much about these things. So I want to give a quick shout out to my mate, uh, Noah Struckbarn from All Steelers Talk and Sports Illustrated uh, slash Steelers. That's their website. I will link this in the description so you guys can go and read it below. Shout out to Noah Struck Barn. Uh, he writes and talks about Steelers plays to Monte Carzi, Calvin Austin on IR, re-sign, of course, Marcus Allen and Trent Scott, the offensive line. Not going to focus on those two blokes, but what we're going to focus on is uh, DeMonte Carzi, pretty much most. Because also, I couldn't find too much information on Calvin Austin, right? I just couldn't really find that much information. Now, Noah Struckbarn goes on to talk about Kazi left with an upper body injury on his wrist. He, he ended up breaking his wrist, right, in the, in the final preseason game. Now, at the time, we we didn't, you know, we didn't know what to expect. I, I thought they might have, uh, you know, he might have missed half the season or most of the season. So, according to this article and also um, another bloke in the uh, NFL media, Mark Caboli, uh, says the initial diagnosis for Steelers safety, Demonte Kazi, is out for six weeks. So that would be around week four against the Jets if all things go right. Okay. So what I find, you know, kind of interesting about this, when I saw the injury happen live, I was like, man, that sucks. Because I was like, this player, Demonte Kazi, uh, was turning into like one of my favorites. He was making a lot of plays. He was doing a lot of big tackles. He was uh, recognizing the play before it even happened. Devin Bush went in for a massive, like, chasing chasing the quarterback down, uh, massive blitz, and DeMonte Kazi was there to stop the play, right? A lot of times, too, in the first few games, uh, the middle linebackers were missing their tackles, the, the defensive line was falling to pieces, and DeMonte Kazi was coming down from the safety position and making the tackle. So I really liked that play. I thought he was uh, uh, out there like a... He had that physical nature about him, and he, he suits this defense to a T because when the Pittsburgh Steelers go out there and play Mika Fitzpatrick at safety, he can roam around. You have Terrell Edmonds, who's having a fantastic season, by the way. And I, I say season, it's, it's only the start of it, but he's having a good preseason. And from what I've read and seen uh, at training camp in the preseason games, he looks like an, like just like so comfortable out there and so comfortable next to, to Minka. So when you add to this defense, what... I think they're trying to do, and a lot of reports out there say, they're trying to have that three tandem, you know, safety where maybe Terrell Evans can, can, can come down into the box and help out the middle linebackers, and then uh, DeMonte Carzi can stay back. So now the minute, the minute that he got injured, I was like, man, this might affect the team because he's, he's quite an integral part to the Pittsburgh Steelers. So it is good signs, guys. It is really good signs that DeMonte Carzi uh, according to reports of Mike Caboli, he said, uh, what did he say? He said four, he said week four. So six weeks. Now the injury sucks. Breaking your wrist, breaking a bone sucks. However, six weeks, four games, maybe after the Jets game, we might see Demonte Kazi back. So, you know, at the time, I was like, man, is it, I was like, is, it, is this bloke going to miss the whole season? You know, you just kind of think that, you know, it's, it just goes through your head. You're like, he, brought, he was there laying on his arm. He's like, oh, no, you know, it's a bit like when, when also when TJ Watt got hurt too in, in the same game. You're like, oh, you hopefully that TJ Watt can stand up. Uh, and also Deontay Johnson got hurt too. So good news for Kazi. And it's only going to be about six to seven weeks and hopefully come, come back strong. And hopefully the Steelers have a record of 4-0. Anyways, guys, just a quick update on the injury news for... Uh, Demonte Kazi. He was slowly turning into one of my favorites, and when he comes back, I think he'll I think he'll he'll take the reign again to be one of my favorites for this defense. But on this defense, we have so many people: T.J. Watt, Highsmith, Cam, uh, Ogan, Joby, Alulu, you name them all. Minka, uh, Miles, Jack, and Devin Bush if he can step up. 
So we've got a lot of people on the defense. And I think when Kazi comes back, hopefully we can, um, you know, start to see a top 10, top five defense forming in, into, the mid, into the middle of the season. Anyways, guys, thank you for checking out Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate. I'll see you later.